Welcome back to Behind Console. This is Clayton. And Kyle. And today we're going to be playing a uh, board game called Cathedral, the Strategic Battle for the Medieval City. It's by Mattel Games. It's copyrighted 1986. Uh, and of course, this is the front of the box. This is the back of the box. I picked it up for uh, $2.50 at a garage sale many moons ago. Um, you actually have all these different pieces. You have four, uh, Each player has 14 pieces. It's a versus game. There's one cathedral that's a neutral. It gets placed in the, uh, randomly in the middle of the uh, board, and you have to play around it, uh, so it kind of gives you a little obstacle. There is, of course, uh, multiple ways to actually tie, where either both players can't place down their last piece, or one player, uh, or uh, all the pieces actually get placed, so n neither player has any pieces left. The winner is the person with the f uh, with no pieces left at the end, or the fewest pieces left at the end. Of course, if you uh, were to read this, that would be what it would say. So here we've got our cathedral, and let's actually get rid of this piece and reveal the other pieces here. Uh, this piece here is going to be your cathedral, of course, and it's white. Uh, these are called the dark pieces, they're red, and these are the light pieces, and they're gray. Uh, we're going to actually start with a different piece here. This is the tavern, it's a little one by one. Then we've got the stable. It's a little uh, one by two. Doo -doo -doo. The inn, which is uh, a two by two with one corner missing. It's uh, or a right angle, I guess you could call it. Yeah, it's like a little L shape. Next, we have our bridge. And it's just a one by three. Uh, this cannot be placed on top of other pieces, even though there is a middle missing. So uh, like you couldn't for go example. you couldn't go like that. You can't hold the uh, you can't hold Jenga, you can't uh place your bridge on top of your tavern. <laughs> or someone else's tavern. Don't be placing your, your stuff on top of other people's taverns. That's not nice, bro. Alright. Um next we've got our manor, which is a one by three with a extra little piece sticking out on the end in the middle. Kind of a T shape. Yeah. Uh then we've got our I actually skipped one. We've got our Abbey, which is... This game reminds me a lot of Tetris. I think you skipped another one. Did I? Oh, yeah, the square. Oh, dang it. <laughs> the square. Okay, the square is the, the two by two piece. Then we get the Abbey, and the Abbey is going to be a uh, three by two with the diagonal corners missing. Then we have the infirmary, which is going to be the cross shape. Uh, total is going to be three by three. Next, we have the castle, which is going to be a two, a two by three with the centerpiece missing on one side. Then we have the tower, which is this nice zigzag piece. Um, and I don't know how else, how else to describe that. Then we have the Academy, which is this really odd piece that if if they ever added this to Tetris, somebody would, would go kill the maker of Tetris. <laughs> um, and that's going to be all the pieces. Uh, you do, of course, actually get two stables, two inns, and two taverns to place. Then that rounds out your 14 pieces. 11 different pieces, three of which are double pieces. And then this is what the board looks like. Very well actually crafted. Uh, it has this nice castle motif going on with these grids. And the to start the game, the cathedral is placed randomly. So I like to just kind of put my finger on top and see where it decides to lock in at. And then uh, you decide who goes first. Uh, most of the time we decide on... Uh, we decide with rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. All right. So. so. All right. Okay. All right. So I'll go first, and I get to make my first placement. Uh, I like to get rid of this guy first. It uh, bugs me. Late game. <laughs> yeah, it's really hard piece to play. So getting it out of the way early game is uh, preferable. Nice play. All right. Let's go. No, that's not going to work. You know what? We'll work. Whoa. Put my castle around your abbey. 
Got to protect those nuns, man. Mm, no. I thought that was the academy. Is that the academy? I think okay, so. Got to protect all the small kids. <laughs> that makes more sense. It does make more sense, doesn't it? Nobody will attack nuns. Don't attack nuns. Nuns are nice people. Well, not Christian nuns. <laughs> what? <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, uh, okay. Just ignore me. I fine. do most of the time anyway. No. Hmm, let's go ahead and throw a wrench in your plants here. <laughs> really? <laughs> you're you're going to spoon my tower yep. with your tower. I see how you are, man. <laughs> let's go. Because it's just a fine and natural sight, two towers together like that. Let's go here. Hmm. Spoon you back. <laughs> well then. <laughs> I think you got a little bit more uh, heft over there than I do. Not going to explain what that looks like to me, but just uh, you just guys I'm figure it out. I'm just going to go right there. <laughs> and uh, just to get you to stop talking. I'm going to play over here. That's just odd. I'm going to go right here, then. Mm, let's see. What do I have left? I'm going to get rid of this piece. It's annoying. Right there. Where did you just place? Right here. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh oh. Yep. Did you mess up? I think nope. so. It's got to be too long. Mm, yep. Looks like you messed up, sir. Looks like if this manor had been the other way around, you would have been able to place it there, but that's it. Yep. Oh. Well, so that looks like that's going to be the end of the game, but uh, he can actually c uh, we can actually continue playing. I might end up getting caught up somewhere and not be able to place mine. So let's see. We've got a space here. here. Go over here. Finish out my whole supply chain going. <laughs> Aha. Almost. Bloop. And unfortunately, that will be the game. That's the game. Uh, he ended up getting left with the one piece, of course, and so that means he lost. Um, very simple game. Uh, Mattel did a interesting job on this. I don't know what the basis was for this. Um, I, I don't know if the game's still made. I honestly have never seen another copy of it. Uh, I, of course, again, I got this at garage sale. I have no clue um, if anybody carries this or if there's, there's any way to get it. Um, but it's a very fun little uh, quick-paced game. Um, and it's so simple, kids can do it, to, and it's strategic enough that adults can have fun with it. Um, it's great for filling in that uh, time period while you're waiting for other people to come in to play your larger games like Lords and Risk and all of those. Um, we appreciate you watching uh, The Haunted Console, as always. Please like and subscribe, and this is Clayton. And I'm Kyle. Y'all have a spooky weekend.